All right, you're going to start out with this lure by buying Mustad Slow Death Hooks, right? Size one is what I use, good for a variety of fish in the Great Lakes, all right? And then you're going to use some attracting, attractive beads. Pick color of your choice. These are the colors I chose because they work well in the area I fish. Um, then the next thing you want to do is take your, your Mustad hook and uh, attach your leader line either fluorocarbon or mono film it with a snell hook or a snell knot and if you don't know how to tie a snell knot you can look at the links below and then you take this hook and you see this fancy bend here what that does it causes this hook to spin like this when you're retrieving it from a cast or whether you're trolling it spins in the water and that attracts the fish all right then you want to put some of your beads on and you can put it any way you want mix or match try different things there's no right or wrong way all right you're going to put your beads on and then you're going to, I, and this one I added a propeller. You can buy all this stuff online and I added a silver propeller. And what this does is it, it's just another attractant, right? It reflects light, which will attract fish if sunlight's hit it, but it also spins. It creates more turbulence. So that is more of a vibration that attracts fish as well. Okay, and then the other end of my leader, which is usually three or four feet long, I just put a standard loop knot, all right? Pretty simple. And if you want to see how to do this, just look in the links below. There's a video on how to tie a loop knot, a loop knot, and it's very durable, very strong, all right? Don't let anybody tell you differently. The harder you pull on this thing, the tighter it gets. It will hold up, all right? So after you've done that and you've built your lure, the next thing you want to do is bait it. And the best way to bait it is with a live night crawler. There's no substitute for live bait. However, a lot of people have a lot of success with plastic baits, so that's what I'm going to show you with here. Now you want to thread this thing all the way up over the eyelet there, okay? So you want to thread all the way up, cover the entire hook and the eyelet, okay? So you're going to take your time and you're going to do a really good job of threading this through, all right? Don't just uh, do a quick and sloppy job. Make sure you do a good job. This is your final presentation. This is what the fish is going to be swimming up to and biting on so you can catch them, all right? So here we go. You're going to thread it all the way up just like this okay just keep working it i know it's a little tedious it can be but you really want to take this part you know pretty serious and, and do a pretty good job of it right now you're going to get it up all the way up over the eyelet like this no not quite yet i got a little more to go all right so now it's over the eyelet i'm going to pull it up well, let me get this set i'm going to pull it up over the eyelet right there we go okay so now it's covered, it's all hidden, the whole hook is hidden. I'm going to pop the hook out of the body down here, and that's where we're going to catch our fish, right? Now the next thing is we got to pinch this end off right here. And that's about where you want to pinch it, okay? And the reason we do this is because if it's too long, it hinders the spinning action of the hook, all right? And this hook is designed to spin, and if the worm's too long, it doesn't spin. That's why we do that, all right? So let's bring down all of our attractants. We got our color beads, our spinning propeller, and now we got our hook baited, right, with the plastic worm. The next thing to do when you're using a plastic worm is you're gonna take this thing and you're gonna add some attractant scent to it, okay? And that's pretty easy to do. We're just gonna, you can buy any of your favorite scent, it doesn't matter. Here's the one I use, all right? And you're just gonna take it, put it on the beads, put it on the propeller. Generally, you don't put them on the bait because it can melt it, sometimes they're kind of strong. But here you go, you have a, a lure that you built, you baited it, you scented it, and it's ready to fish on, baby. Good luck.